Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is brisket nachos with smoked queso. Well, nachos are one of those things that are great for utilizing whatever ingredients you have around the house or in the refrigerator. Leftovers or fresh, it doesn't matter. This week we're doing brisket nachos. Earlier this week, we smoked up our Wagyu brisket. So if you haven't checked that video out yet, go check it out now, because that's the brisket we're gonna be using to make our nachos today. Now, in my opinion with nachos, there's never one star of the show. It's not the brisket, it's not the chips, it's not whatever happens around them. It's everything coming together. So we're gonna be working on those other things today. We're gonna be working on a crema verde. It's really delicious. Incorporate some avocado into the crema. We're gonna do a pico from scratch. We're gonna do that smoked queso from scratch, which is also just super easy, but adds a ton of flavor, especially when it all comes together in the end. So we're gonna be making a three cheese queso today, a queso blanco, really. We're starting with a pepper jack. We've also got some queso chihuahua. Uh, this is a nice, soft, melting Mexican cheese. It could be similar to like a mild, um, like a mild cheddar, it's also very soft. And then we've got some white American because that stuff just really adds to the texture of a queso. So we're gonna grate all of this down and get it into our skillet for smoking. Choosing these cheeses because they're soft melting cheeses and that's the texture that we wanna go for in the end. We're not gonna be adding any sort of thickening agent today. We're just gonna let these cheeses melt down and a little bit of seasoning with some cream and with some chilies. So we'll go right into the skillet with those. We're just trying to break this down into kind of uniform sizes so that it melts evenly as well. So we're gonna to add to our cheeses three quarter cup of half and half. And this is what's gonna really make this nice and creamy as it transfers into a liquid state we're gonna also add a half cup of our 505 hatch chilies. These are fire roasted hatch chilies. So now we get a little bit of that chili into our queso. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning as well, the Cattleman's Mexicano. We just sprinkle a tablespoon of that over the top. So this is just gonna gently melt down at a very low temperature. Now at the same time that we're smoking our queso, we're also gonna be cooking some beans in the cooker. So let's go ahead and put those together now as well. So this will be really simple, straightforward. We're not trying too hard here. This is just one can of black beans, about a cup and a quarter that been rinsed out. I'm gonna add to that a crushed clove of garlic. Just crush that up, peel it and throw it in. We'll add a little bit of beef stock so we can kind of create a nice simmering base. It's about three quarter cup. And then we're gonna do a shake of the Cattleman's Grill eight second ride carne asada seasoning because I love some chili powder, paprika, that kind of thing going on with my beans. That's it. Now today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill, and like I said, we're going low and slow. It's set to 200 degrees. Now the reason we're doing that is because as this queso starts to melt down, we really need it to melt gently. If you go too hot and too fast, you're gonna break it, and there's going to be oil all over the surface. Now you can whisk that back in, but it's not ideal. Also, you wanna make sure you don't take it too long. We're gonna keep an eye on this. It should take only about 45 minutes for it to all come together. And just to pump some more smoke in there, we're gonna light a smoke tube on the main cooking grate and then put our beans right down there above the firebox to simmer away. So we're gonna start on the top grate with our queso away from the direct heat. Slide our beans in a little closer to the fire so they have a little bit more heat. And then we're gonna slide in our smoke tube right over here, but we gotta get some pellets in there first. Cooking with hickory pellets today. Uh, hickory's a nice assertive smoke flavor, but not too intense. And again, this is gonna be a, a quick smoke, so if we wanna go a little bit heavier on the smoke flavor, then that'll work out. I'm gonna light it up with the torch. All right, so now I'm just gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. We'll come back and check on it and give it a stir. So now that we've got the hot stuff rolling, it's time to work on the cold stuff. And we're gonna start with the pico. So the pico is just a handful of really great fresh ingredients. We've got some heirloom tomatoes, onion, cilantro, serrano, and jalapeno peppers, and of course some lime juice and salt. 
So we're just gonna do a small dice on all of our tomatoes, pretty much on everything today. Might go a little bit finer on the peppers just so we don't get any big bites of spice, unless of course that's what you're going for. going to go everything in the bowl. Only reason with we're, we're going with a couple different colored tomatoes is just for the visual. I love I love the way these look together. Super juicy tomatoes. It's going to be great. All right, today we're using a yellow onion. Honestly, you can use whatever kind of onion you really prefer. White onions are also very common. You like a red onion, do a red onion. Maybe even go a little bit finer than a small dice on this. Honestly, it's up to you. I like small bites of stuff in my pico. I don't want to bite into a big chunk of anything. Next we've got our serranos and our jalapeno. Serranos are a bit more traditional, but a bit spicier. So if you wanna go for a milder pico, use a jalapeno. Uh, these serranos, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and leave the seeds in there. Just keep these a bit intact with all their heat and mince them down. And then almost putting the mince on the peppers here. All right, next we're gonna get some fresh cilantro in there. So this adds some nice fragrance to it. If you can't handle the cilantro, just leave it out. Now we're gonna hit it with some fresh lime juice. We'll have a little bit of salt to finish it off with, and that's gonna be it. We're using that Jacobson habanero infused salt today. I guess we're bringing the heat this time. You just give it a mix. And now the longer it sits, the better it gets. All right, so this we're just gonna cover up and set aside. We'll move on to the crema. Now while I'm thinking about it and before we jump over to the crema, I'm just gonna say when it comes to the pico, uh, as far as the proportions of what we're adding, most of the time I'm just doing it by sight or by feel. Uh, I'll be sure to include some measurements in our recipe. So you can go check out our blog, atbbq.com slash the sauce. There'll be a link in the video, video description. But just so you know, I'm kind of eyeballing it and doing it by taste most of the time. All right, we're at the 20 minute mark on our queso. So I just came to check on it, stir things around a little bit, obviously still melting down slowly, but starting to melt. And it smells great in here. All right, so we're just gonna close this back up. I'll set another 20 minute timer and we'll be back to check on them. Now the crema verde is just three ingredients, super easy. So we're gonna take one medium avocado here. Just pop the flesh of that into our blending cup here. Let me dice this up just a little bit easier to get it started. Next, we're going back to that 505 fire roasted hatch chilies. We're gonna do about two tablespoons of those. And then last, we've got one cup of sour cream. So we're gonna throw this on the Vitamix and just blitz it until it's super smooth. Give this a little stir and make sure that we're actually getting everything incorporated. We really are. You can see that nice creamy green crema sauce there coming together. 
So that's it for our avocado crema verde. Uh, just three simple ingredients. We're not even adding salt because honestly, brisket's got salt, the chips have salt, the pico's got salt. Like, we're just gonna chill for that. Leave it simple, nice and creamy, great little topping. All right, so now we're down to the brisket. We've got some of our cold leftover Wagyu brisket here. This is a good chunk of the point meat right here and some slices from the flat. So we're just gonna preheat our cast iron skillet and crisp it up in here. So we'll dice these down before we warm them back up in the skillet. We'll give them a little, a little texture in the skillet. Although we've still got a ton of good bark on the outside of this thing. So this point meat right up top here, that's the really fatty stuff. Boy, that bark on here is great. That should cover a nice big plate of nachos. I'm gonna put just a little bit of chili oil down. Especially with the lean pieces in there that won't render out some fat. We want a little something to give, give the outside of this. <laughs> oh, just inhaled. I just inhaled. <laughs> That's good stuff. So a little bit of fat in there to kind of help fry this stuff up. All right, we're about 45 minutes in, and this queso is looking bueno. You can see how we've got it just gently melted down. Yeah, that's what we want. Down below, we've got some chips that I fried up earlier, just getting warm in here. And then of course our beans, just kind of been stewing in there, letting all those flavors develop. But it's time to go put it all together. I'm gonna make one big old platter of nachos today. Using our yellow corn tortilla chips fried up earlier. We're gonna start to pile on the toppings. So we're gonna go down with some just kind of room temperature sharp cheddar. Of course we're making brisket nachos today, which if that doesn't make you think of Texas a little bit, I don't know why not. And when I think of Texas and brisket, I think of sharp cheddar. So I think this is a pretty good little combination just as the base layer. Next we're gonna come in with those black beans that just been soaking and that carne asada seasoning and the beef stock, smelling pretty garlicky. So we're gonna to start to build our hot stuff on top of the cheese so this can all melt together. So then we're gonna come in with our smoked queso. Beautiful. Top it off with that Wagyu brisket. Now this brisket was seasoned with the California tri-tip seasoning, so kind of a Santa Maria style seasoning. Savory and, and very versatile. And now that we've kind of got all of that heavy stuff out, it's time to add some stuff to lighten it up. So some fresh romaine lettuce shredded up. We've got our pico, cold, fresh, bright, great contrast to the brisket and the smoked queso. I'm gonna hit it with our avocado crema. And one last finishing touch, a little bit of queso fresco right on top. That's it. All right, let's get a taste here. Get a little bit of that pico, the full effect. Man. So many flavors going on. And they're so well balanced. I have to say, nachos are just one of my favorite snacks. Like, you put nachos on a menu and it looks interesting at all, I'm probably gonna order it. And this is exactly what I would hope for. The creamy queso on top of that sharp cheddar. I'm getting the smokiness from the beans and that rub that's in the beans. And then the smokiness of the brisket, which the brisket has really all of that texture. I mean, between the chips and the brisket, that's where you're getting your crunch. And then the fresh stuff on top, you gotta have that fresh stuff. I mean, otherwise you're just smothered in heavy, warm goo, right? This is what really brightens it all up. It all balances out and it all tastes fantastic.
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.